Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you late this morning for a movie review. And this is for the one and only Ivan that I just got done watching on Disney+. Plus. So I'm going to discuss what I watched for this movie and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Uh, Sam Rockwell plays the guy, plays the gorilla Ivan. Angelina Jolie plays in this as Stella. And I do like Angelina Jolie as an actress. And she, she was good in this movie. Uh, Brian Cranston plays as the guy named Mac in this movie. And there's a baby elephant named Ruby in this movie, which was so adorable in this. Uh, but pretty much what I think of this movie overall it was not too bad I wouldn't say it's my favorite but it's not bad I guess for kids they'd really like it because the rating for this is PG and there are some kind of scenes where I don't know if I'd like it but Sorry for kind of yawning a little. I kind of woke up like a few hours ago and I... This is probably going to be the only video I make today. If I do make another video, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but... Yeah, overall, I think this movie was... Solid. It was pretty solid. Um, they do happen... I don't want to give away anything, but pretty much Ivan's this gorilla that was raised in the circus. It shows you in the movie, and along with the other animals, too, in the movie that are in the circus as well. But, uh, Brian Cranston plays a pretty good, uh, animal tamer and all that I guess you could say if that's the right word I'm saying I'm not sure if I am <laughs> but no I wasn't hating this movie that much uh, I found that there was these animals or whatever in the movie this was actually based on a true story and I was like oh I didn't even know about this <laughs> but yeah it was based on true events so it did happen and Ivan's just living his days out in uh, this wild uh, zoo or whatever in Atlanta Georgia so that's pretty awesome uh, but for the most part, I think this movie was pretty solid. I wouldn't call it my favorite movie this year, but it did alright. So out of 10, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 for the one and only Ivan. It's not too bad. It It's an average movie. I like some parts in the movie, and then there's some parts that I don't know if they should have done that. But... No, wasn't hating this movie, and sorry for holding my yawn, I just, ugh, just woke up a few hours ago, I got a really good night's rest, finally, <laughs> and I'm just ready to start my Sunday with just relaxing, and going to the laundromat, so, <laughs> it's gonna be kind of a busy Sunday, so I don't even know if I will return to you for another video today, I'll try. But I'll let you guys know if I do. I just got certain things to do today. So, yeah. Because I'm going to be busy at the laundromat most of the day. For a couple hours. And then, yeah, I'll be returning to you hopefully for a track review tonight. I don't know for sure. But I'll let you guys know. But comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the 
one and only Ivan if you've seen it. And if you like this movie review that I made for you guys, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you tomorrow for the Evanescence Synthesis album review. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I got, I like had other videos to do, so I wasn't able to come around to it, but I will be doing uh, the Evanescence Synthesis album review. Uh, sorry about the ding on my phone, it's from a notification or whatever, but other than that, I do have certain end of the year videos to do. I'm going to be starting the end of the year videos on November 8th, so it's not that far away. It's a little bit, but not that far away. It's almost two months away till I start the worst albums of 2020 video because that's when I usually start my worst albums of 2020 video I like to start it early November but anyways uh and there'll be other end of the year videos towards December mostly so still about three four months away until I get started with the end of the year list videos for best movies, decent to good movies, and etc, etc. Yeah, I got a lot of things to cover for the end of the year. Uh, but thank you for watching this movie review. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you did. Sorry if I did yawn in it a little bit. But definitely stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you in my next video.